relatively little known grape, the Aramon. Again, uh, a southern French, I believe northern Spanish as well. Looks like a table grape. Very large, large bunches, huge berries, enormous yields. Um, there are very, very few vineyard parcels. You know, we've talked a lot about Cavignon, of which there is still a lot left. Um, Aramont, that's not the case. That's pretty much been eradicated. I mean, there may be, I don't know, 100 hectares left in all of the Languedoc Roussillon, um, which when you consider the tens of thousands of hectares, um, there's not very much indeed. And so it's uh, more, even more so than the Cavignon. It's a variety that was grown to make very low alcohol wine um, from the turn of the century, the last century onwards. We have various vines in our old Cavignon parcels. We don't have any vineyards of it either. Um, we have, for the last couple of years, made it uh, as a variety in its own right, uh, in very, very small quantities, um, because we've we're persuaded, we've seen that it's, um, it can give something very interesting. Again, reinterpreting um, a, a capital that we, that we see here with a, um, in a forward-looking manner. And I think, as, as I said the other night as well, I would love to be able to, to try a lot of blending options. Uh, the very limited quantity of it uh, restricts that. I think they're probably the thing that I'd like to try most, the blender I would like to try most, is using the Grenache simply because both varieties have a, um, can have a very floral character to them, um, a character that's, um, as you would say, that, that is a Pinot character, a light, airy um, character, whereas with Grenache, which is more alcoholic, uh, more powerful, the Aramon could come in being much, much lighter in the same fam um, family of aromas and of flavors, but just to, just to lighten it, I think that could be very interesting. As it stands, I vinify it um, in open barrels, lightly crushed um, because of the, the limited quantities that we have. It, it's a variety that has very large berries but has very thin skin as well, so in terms of extraction, there's not a great, great deal to extract. The um, aromatic compounds just under the skin are relatively limited. Um, and so we're just working around the fruit character uh, and so the maceration periods are relatively short so in the order of three to five days which for us is very very short um, and then the juice will be drained off. We do use oak in as much as it's a vessel uh, meaning that the, the, the single barrel of Aramon that we do make is in wood that's maybe 10 12 years old so it's entirely neutral um, it's just a way of um, having a recipient that is a suitable size for the quantity that we have. So it doesn't actually impart anything to the wine. Um, a little bit of oxygenation, but even that is very little.